After almost 10 years, the Five Nights at Freddy's movie has finally released, and it's not worth the wait. I thought it was a huge disappointment. I've been following the production of this movie since it was first announced, and it's gone through many scripts and many directors, and you can tell because of the end result. It feels very muddled. It's just a huge mess. Now, as somebody who is a casual fan of the games, I haven't beaten the games. I've played a few of each game. I haven't beaten them all the way through, but I appreciated the little references, the animatronic effects. Those are phenomenal, but on a plot and character level, it's pretty thin and somewhat lacking. I didn't really care about the main character played by Josh Hutcherson, and I didn't think the stakes in that movie for him were all that high. And for a horror movie, it's surprisingly light on scares. The games are very creepy, and there is some of that here, but the majority of it is Hutcherson dealing with childhood trauma, and most of it feels like a completely different movie. This feels like a melodrama that, on occasion, has Five Nights at Freddy's characters sprinkled in. There were also only just a couple of jump scares, and overall, the tone of the movie is very confusing. The most interesting character is Matthew Lillard, and he's barely in it. Other than a mildly creepy atmosphere and impressive animatronic effects, the film doesn't have much going for it. If you're a fan of the games, save yourself a few bucks, stay home and stream it on Peacock, and if you're just a casual moviegoer who wants to see what this is all about, you can skip it. So for me, unfortunately, I only have to give this movie a C plus, 6 out of 10, and 2.5 out of 5 stars. It's probably the most disappointing movie I've seen this year.